Good morning everyone. Two locally made masks. They look almost identical apart from the fact that they're different colors. Do they offer the same level of protection? We're going to test that out. So we have a candle around three inches and I'll blow as hard as I can. Okay, managed to put it out on the second blow. Let's try the other mask. Again, we'll go three inches from the mouth and I'll blow as hard as I can. Make sure it's fitted right. Everything is okay. And as you can see, I cannot blow it out from that distance at least. So straight away, we know there are certain property differences between masks. And for the next test, we'll see the outside is hydrophobic, meaning it won't allow water to pass through. We'll start again with the purple mask. Let's bring this a little bit closer, pour the water in. And I can already see we have a lot of drips coming through the mask. The outside is not hydrophobic. And we'll do the same test with this one. We'll make it into a cup shape and pour water onto the outside. And you'll see we don't have any water passing through. I'll add more water. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a lot of water in there now. And you can see we don't have any drips. So let me pour this back in here. So the outside of this mask does appear to be hydrophobic. Now that was just a test between two masks. We actually have a lot more masks to test. The idea of this is to assess which masks being sold locally are the best. Now, according to officials, any mask is better than no mask. But if you can get your hands on a legitimate surgical mask like this, of course, that's the one you're going to want to buy. But for many of us, we can't buy this in the shop and I cannot even believe that the latest price permitted for this is 28 pesos when you used to be able to buy a box of 50 for like 69 pesos from a well-known local brand. Now they're selling it for 999 pesos. Anyway, that's a different story. So coming soon, a video comparing all of these together. I bought all of these except for this one, which I asked directly from the supplier to send me a free sample because then we sell them in boxes of 50 and I didn't want to buy a box of 50 when I'm comparing so many masks. Imagine how expensive that would get. So this one was given to me by the supplier for free and they actually gave extra that I'd be giving to the MMDA. But yeah, stay tuned for the video and tell me what kind of tests do you think we should put these through apart from the blow test, the water test. Uh, I also want to do a sneeze test where I'm going to force myself to sneeze and then have a, I'm not sure about the details of this yet, but maybe a pane of glass or a piece of cardboard, and then I'll sneeze while wearing the mask and we'll see what makes it through. Because there is this viral video where the guy is spraying an aerosol can and seeing what goes through, but then a lot of professionals said, hey, that's not accurate because the force of that aerosol spray is much higher than the human sneeze. Um, so we'll just do it the real way. We'll test with sneezing. I will make myself sneeze. Uh, we're also going to cut them all open and look at the materials used. But before I go through all of that work, I want to hear from you guys what you think I should include in the video so that, you know, I meet people's recommendations, people's demands, what they want to see and uh, do it the right way. So stay tuned. Leave your ideas in the video comment section. Thanks for watching.